Will a robot replace your workers? IDC says that by 2025, robots will perform the tasks of 140 million full-time employees. Now, right now, I'm freaking you out, right? Here in Chicago, Novato predicts that by 2025, there will be at least 50% increase in jobs done by robots. Now, Laura's here with me right now, Laura Black, the editor of Construct Tech Magazine, to talk about it. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Laura, you and I talk about this at Construct Tech all the time. Will that actually happen? And do contractors and construction companies really need to be concerned about whether robots are going to take over their jobs and replace workers at the job site? What do you think? Well, I don't think that they need to be concerned, but yeah, I do absolutely think in some aspects robots will replace workers and in others um, um, it'll create new jobs. So we'll see um, a lot of robots, bricklaying machines, um, drones, really providing um, new opportunities for workers. Um, but there will also be um, new jobs, technical jobs, that the millennial generation can come in and help out with. So when we talk about that, the point of what people need to understand is actually what is a robot? Mm -hmm. Because I think when we have this perception, we think of what's in the movies, mm -hmm. these big creatures right. coming to the site, you know, and taking over things. But a robot can be a drone, as you mentioned. A robot can be that, that bricklaying arm. Mm -hmm. could be a 3D printer that's going to be creating mm -hmm. these new buildings at the job site. So we have to really understand what actually is considered a robot, mm -hmm. you know, and, and these unmanned machines that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So do we have to really think that these can work side by side with human workers? So do construction companies really need to understand what the future of their job site is going to look like and who they'll work with humans and not with humans? Mm -hmm. Do they need to have a better understanding of that? Yeah, absolutely. And I think we definitely do. As you mentioned, we see drones, we see bricklaying machines, we see uh, automated trucks. Um, we see a lot of different ways that robots are going to change the job site. And we definitely are going to need um, the workforce to work alongside them um, to make our job sites safer and more productive. When we look at all this technology, and it's things that we've written about, again, in Construct Tech Magazine, we see machine learning and artificial intelligence. And we talk about uh, augmented reality and mm -hmm. virtual reality. Is a lot of this changing so fast that companies need to think about this is going to influence them right now? Or is it more that they need to start understanding how their companies are going to change and they need to actually stay in tune and up to date with the emerging technologies? Yeah, absolutely. They definitely have to stay up to date with the emerging technologies because it's going to change the way they work. It already is. Um, so they definitely need to keep an eye on this trend, these robots that are coming in and um, you know, help their workers understand um, the opportunities that it offers them. And that's an interesting point because I think when we look at the job site right now, the young millennials, as you mentioned, really want to work for companies mm -hmm. that understand this new technology, this emerging technology that's disrupting all kinds of companies in every industry. And the key here is for a construction company to be willing to embrace it, to collaborate with this technology. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a lot of construction companies actually doing it. They're using drones. They're, they're seeing the value of them. And in some ways, it's opening up the opportunity for new jobs mm -hmm. and, and new techniques and opportunities for companies and their employees to learn new skills. Yeah, absolutely. There's a big opportunity for people to come in, people who know how to use this technology, uh, to come in and, and really um, use their skills to make the job site better. Is there anything that you're seeing right now when we look at all of this that we say, there's an opportunity here for companies to really articulate a story about them and what they're opening. Because we know there's going to be a workforce shortage. Mm -hmm. So companies now can use some of this technology to fill that gap mm -hmm. and at the same time look for really good workers who say, I'm starting to understand how to actually operate some of this technology, mm -hmm. how to actually leverage it for a construction company and saying, look, as it changes, I have the knowledge. I, you know, as, as the... Mm -hmm aging workforce retires, this young millennial workforce comes in and says, I understand it. I'm able to adapt to it. Is mm -hmm. there some great opportunities for construction companies? Absolutely. I think um, the younger workforce can really uh, come in and, and leverage this technology. And I don't think it's necessarily that robots are going to replace, but that they're going to work together. And I think that's something we're definitely going to be seeing. We talk about all of these robots, everyone's thinking, but there still are a lot of hurdles of putting mm -hmm. these robots on the job site. What do you think there? Are any so engaged in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think a big one that comes to mind is cost. Um, we see um, a lot of the robots are, are very high priced. Um, some really good opportunities out there, but, um, you know, just a high, high cost and 
We're still in the early adapter phase, and as we always talk about, you know, um, when technology is first coming up, there's a high price point, but it's going to come down eventually, and then they'll really be able to leverage that. And I think that's an interesting point because when you think about cost, everybody's so excited, but they have to understand technology changes. Mm -hmm. It's also what's going to be the adaption you're going to do, what's going to be the collaborative mm -hmm. environment you're going to use. So, you know, thinking about cost, and they change so mm -hmm. fast. So what are you really going to use, and how are you going to use How are you going to get the data out of mm -hmm. all of this information? So that comes a big one. So let's kind of end on a high note. Mm -hmm. You know, when we think, are we going to still have that human point is still very important mm -hmm. at the job site. Why do we need, for everybody who's watching today, to understand humans are still very important at right. the job site? Robots and machines only provide the data, and humans still have to make the decisions. So that's why they're so important. Humans are never going away. It's never just going to be a robotic job site. Uh, robots are just there to help and provide the information that they need. And that's a good point because I think everyone, we still need the trades. Mm -hmm. We still have Absolutely. to hook the plumbing. We still mm -hmm. have to do the wiring. And all of those trades are still very important. Mm -hmm. And we still have to have the schools training those individuals mm -hmm. at the job site, right? Absolutely. It's a critical part. Well, Laura, thank you so much for thank being you. with us. And that's your innovation and technology for today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.